is off to work. A member of the Spitz family, the Quezon's luxurious standoff coat and expressive markings are sure to draw attention. They are known for their keen intelligence and for their outgoing and friendly nature with people and dogs alike. The Quezon is a top performer in agility and obedience trials and makes an excellent watchdog or therapy dog. This is Quezon, number 12. They're called the Smiling Dutchman. They have these spectacles like a delicate line in the corner of its eye to the lower corner of the ear. Down by the dog looks like he's smiling, doesn't he? Smart athletic dogs. They were the national dog of Holland, kind of the dog of the working class. Barge mascots. <laughs> Beautiful dog. This is Michael. The young dog. It's one of best in show already in four specialties. It's only two years old. St. Louis, Water Missouri. Well. Donna Smith is the handler. Donna's a retired teacher. Originating in Tibet, the Lhasa Apso is a ancient breed treasured today as a clever enchanting companion. Somewhat cat-like and sporting a heavy, dense coat needed for insulation in its native land, he is known as the Lion Dog. He was a sentinel inside the monasteries where he would bark to alert the Tibetan Mastiffs on duty outside, showing his strong sense of self and connection to his people. This is Lhasa Apso, number 17. Lulu. One of three breeds in this group from Tibet, but that heavy coat and the tail cur curled over the back are kind of distinguishing characteristics. The military actually brought them back to England. They were pretty rare in this country for a while. Then the rich and the famous got into them. What Elizabeth around, Taylor, please. Shirley MacLaine, Errol Flynn were the Lhasa owners. <laughs> Susan Giles. Owner Handler, Richmond, Virginia. Depicted in art since the 1400s, the low chin is believed to have originated in the general region of Germany, Belgium, and France. While the exact origin is clouded in controversy, the breed has changed little in over 600 years. It is identified by the distinctive lion trim and a gaily carried tail. The name low chin means little lion dog. This is low chin number eight. This is Cuba with handler Greg Strong, number one in Chen in all systems for the past two years and so far this year as well. Lo Chen means little lion in German. So he only gets shaved in the in the rear? What right around? Yeah, it's sort of to give them a hot water bottle kind of use for your feet. You crawl into bed and hatch your feet. And Foot warming dog. How about that for a job? <laughs> <laughs> the poodle is a very old hunting dog of unknown origin. Germany and France both had their poodles, but it was the French who made it their national dog. Poodles come in three varieties based on size, but they are all one breed. In this group, there are the standard, over 15 inches, and the miniature, under 15 inches, but in excess of 10 inches. This is miniature poodle number 38. This is Sugar Baby, who is the granddaughter of the Best in Show winner in 2002, Spice Girl, who actually was given that Best in Show win by this judge, Everett Dean. See how his memory is. Ron Scott and Debbie Burke from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, on this dog handled by Kaz Hosaka. Now, is the judge going to know that, David? Probably not. Even if they do, they probably aren't going to think about it too much. Can't get into those kinds of things that are right around, please. not a part of what's in front of you at the moment. This is the miniature poodle, 10 to 15 inches for miniatures. Here on the standard poodle, the clip we see today is derived from practical considerations. The coverings on the joints protected those areas when the dog was retrieving game in water, and the puff at the end of the tail is said to be a French jab at the British Lion. This is Standard Poodle, number 19. Here's Alley, owned by Tony and Martin Sosnoff of New York City, who are longtime poodle people. 
Handled by Tim Yellow Brazier, box, please. Mill Creek, Washington. He used to own a restaurant in that part of the world. This is Alley, a beautiful white standard poodle. In less than nine months, this dog has won 21 bests and 45 group firsts. Champion Brighton Lake Ridge Encore, three-year-old female. The history of the Skipper Key dates back to Belgium in the 1600s, where he was known as an active, agile watchdog and hunter of vermin. The Skipper Key is at home on canal barges, herding livestock, hunting game, or simply guarding his domain. Although small and compact, he is definitely not short on courage or devotion. This is Skipper Key, number 16. Standard says the most important thing with this breed is its silhouette. It's supposed to be square with a foxy head, erect ears, no tail. Did it used to have a tail? No. Never had a tail? Never had a tail. Smart, busy dogs. Never uses guards and watchdogs and ratters on the canal boats in Belgium. Another dog of the working class. Right around, please. It's not really a Spitz dog, even though it looks a little bit like it. It's probably down from the Belgian sheep dog. This is TJ, handled by Aaron Roberts. For owners Sandra Middlebrooks, Michael Jameson, and John and Amy Gossman. Shibi Inu was admitted to the non-sporty group in 1993, but it has long been a popular companion and superb hunting dog in Japan. Shibas are thought to be the smallest and oldest dogs from Japan. A smart, foxy little dog with an independent nature, they are somewhat reserved with strangers, but very loyal to their owners. This is Shiba Inu, number 10. They've got nice smiles, haven't they? <laughs> they really do. They're great little dogs. They're really pretty cat-like. Kind of a tenacious little dog. They too are supposed to look like a fox. Very clean, a good mouser, just like a cat. Right around, please. Beautiful dog. This is Thunder from Polly, Polly's Island, South Carolina. Jeremy Hoffman Hanley. The Tibetan Spaniel originated in the Himalayan mountains of Tibet over 2,000 years ago. They are small, well-balanced dogs with an alert, intelligent appearance and a distinctive head and face. Their keen eyes and ability to see great distances made them exceptionally good guard dogs as they would sit in the Tibetan monastery walls during the day. This is Tibetan Spaniel, number 10. <laughs> a face on this one, huh? <laughs> I love this breed. I'd have one. Patricia Sarles owns this dog from Whippany, New Jersey, handled by Ernesto Lara. Top winning Tibetan Spaniel of all time. Some of these Tibetan breeds, they were a little late getting here because of the isolation of Tibet. Jebel, we're glad you got here. Five-year-old female. Right around, please. And... One of, makes it one of my favorites. It's a therapy dog, an accomplished therapy dog. The Tibetan Terrier is from Tibet, where they were raised in monasteries over 2,000 years ago. Over time, the breed developed a protective, profuse double coat, compact medium size, unique foot construction, and great agility. The Tibetan Terrier is a highly intelligent, sensitive, loyal, and affectionate dog. This is Tibetan Terrier, number 10. Well, yeah, he's from Tibet, but he's not a terrier. Down and back. This is Missy, actually, three-year-old female. Another dog was bred and raised in the monasteries. Known as luck bringers or holy dogs. <laughs> Lois Demers handling. Lois won the non-sporting group here in 2005 with a Tibetan Terrier. Right around, please. 
Conroe, Texas. Sarah Dean, our non-sporting group judge. Another look down the line Sorry. here. Making a cut. Pulls out the Bichon. The Bulldog. Okay. Standard poodle. The skip. Back him up. Moves him back. One at a time. Sharp A in there. Kings on. Taking him around one at a time. Here goes the Bichon. <laughs> it's Drummer. Here's the Bulldog Bricks. Chinese Sharpay Jane. The case on. Lulu the Lassa. <laughs> the miniature poodle. The standard poodle, Alley. Kept a lot of dogs in his cup. Pulls the Sharpay out in front. Got the Bichon in the second slot. Yeah. Lost in right third around. McKay's in fourth, and he's done. Looks like he's done. He's going to go with the Sharpay. Up. That's it. The Chinese Sharpay. So here's the message of the non sporting group, David. How about that? The first non sporting group win ever by a Chinese Sharpay. The Bichon is second, Lhasa is third, and the Kazan is fourth. Here's an update of the progression. Sharpay joins the Pekingese and the Scottish Deerhound in the best in show lineup.